Hi everyone. So I'm just going over our mythic artificer kill and just kind of how to do damage as a warlock and try to like really um, get a lot of your burst windows, like your mythic rupture windows, and how to like maximize your damage during uh, heavy movement fights. So we're about to pull here. And I always pre-cast Haunt at about 2 seconds, so that way it always hits the boss. Um, and then as soon as I cast Haunt, or finish casting Haunt, I cast UA immediately after. Um, and then I follow up my dots. So just do my normal rotation here. And um, in my opener, I always drain first for 3 stacks of Shadows Embrace. I see a lot of warlocks like throw their frame of singularity, um, throw their soul rot, and then like dark glare, dark soul, and then drain. Um, I think that's like inefficient. So I always drain first to get the stacks up, and then I pot the rest of my cooldowns. That way, when I have all my cooldown ticking, I can just hit Malefic Rapture, and I don't have to worry about anything else. So you see me do that here. Popped on my cooldowns. Unfortunately, the trinket, the cube trinket, gave me haste, which is not what you want. Um, you want mastery all the time, but that's the cube. Um, you see, I get the first trinket or the first uh, portal here. Um, so I have to run out um, here as I do it. I know that I, I'm refreshing my dots as I'm running, um, and I always try to drain and get a ticket drain off so that way my shadows embrace stays up so I don't have to worry about trying to refresh that when I get back into my spot. So I'm just draining, keeping that up. I get teleported, refresh my UA before it runs out, trying to get back in position to drop the traps. I get <laughs> targeted by a ghost immediately. So this is a pretty unlucky pull for me. Like I got a lot of the mechanics early on so I wasn't DPSing at all, like <laughs> besides my opener, uh, but it's fine. Um, so here I have, I still kept the entire time because I kept draining as I was going through the portals. I kept up my shadows embrace, and so it never fell off. So now I don't have to worry about that when I'm going into my next uh, fan singularity burst window. So you can see I have five shards here, and I'm ready to kind of just burst as much as I can. I'm going to use one shard here so I don't stay shard capped because there's still six seconds left on my cooldown. So I use one shard there and then I'm just refreshing my dots, getting ready for my burst window, pop Phantom Singularity, get five shards back, and then I'm just kind of bursting. And I'm keeping up my Shadows Embrace, which I find really important for your damage. And just keeping up my dots. And so another thing with Soul Rot is a lot of people will hold Soul Rot for their Phantom Singularity windows, which isn't incorrect, but you need to have the one minute trinket with it for it to be really efficient. So if you do have the one minute PvP trinket that gives you like a burst of intellect, then it's definitely worth it holding your Soul Rot for your Phantom Singularity. If not, if you just have like the cube trinket or a ruby like a bulletting ruby or any of the other like just PvE trinkets, then um, it's just better to use Soul Rot on cooldown because it gives you a ton of mastery. Because um, when you use Soul Rot, I think you get eight stacks of the Nia buff, so that gives you like a ton of mastery. And you just kind of want to use that on cooldown, um, basically, if you don't have the PvE trinket. Um, as you can see here, I get targeted by another ghost, so I'm just going to try and get this drain off to keep my Shadows Embrace up refresh my dots, and then run. So I actually didn't get that drain tick off. I tried to get it before um, I moved from the ghost, but I guess I didn't drain long enough, didn't get the tick off. So as I go through the portal, I try to get my stacks up. Um, so I'm waiting here for the ghost, go back, refresh my dots, and <laughs> just trap right outside the portal, so I had to run away from that. Then I'm just doing my normal rotation here, grouping up. So I'm trying to keep my dots high when I'm doing, like I always refresh my dots before doing my Mulfic Rapture windows because 
having it your dots like about to fall off as you're trying to burst really really sucks um and so it's really important to kind of refresh those before you set up for your um, malefic rapture windows so here we got seeds coming out so we're gonna have to move here shortly I'm literally just draining the boss waiting for shards to come up and refreshing my dots um, I don't use Malefic Raptures ever outside of my Phantom Singularity windows and my Burst windows, um, only when I'm about to overcap. Um, I see that's a lot of mistake that a lot of people make, is they just kind of use Malefic Raptures like randomly. So here I have my Soul Rot, I have my... Fan oh, I didn't actually, I must have messed, I messed up here. I actually didn't hit my Phantom Singularity when I thought I did, I believe. Um, so that was a really big mistake of damage for me. Oh, no, no, no. I did this intentionally. I did this intentionally because I knew that the seeds were coming out and we were going to have to move. And so I popped my soul rot. Where is it? I popped my soul rot here. And then I refresh my dots and I burst. And I use all of my shards because I know that we're about to get sucked into the boss. So... Since I know there's going to be this time where I literally can't DPS at all, I dump all of my shards. Um, and I save my Phantom Singularity for my Dark Lair. So I save the rest of my cooldowns, so that way when they're up and I'm ready to burst with Bloodlust, I will be able to do like a lot more damage rather than just kind of using it now and then having nothing during Bloodlust. So... That is why I soul rotted here. As you can see, I got full five shard value out of my soul rot. So, so I dumped all my shards, knowing that we're gonna have to move here. And the ghosts come out, the seeds, and the explosions. Um, so here, I'm just building shards, draining. Getting ready to, for uh, like all the movement that's happening. And then here we pop Lust. Refresh my dots, get everything ready to go. And then this is where I just Dark Lair and just Malefic Rapture. Just pumping. Um, and while I'm draining here, I'm actually spamming my Malefic Rapture button, waiting for shards to come out. So during your burst windows, when you extend them with Dark Lair, since the dots last longer, you want to keep hitting Malefic Rapture as long as you have like a Phantom Singularity or a Soul Rod up. So if you have that extra dot, you definitely want to like keep spending your shards, especially during Lust, because it comes out so much faster since you have such haste. Um, so just dump all my cooldowns here during Lust since you don't need it for anything else. Doing as much damage as you can during this phase since there's no movement. And then here, just kind of reset. Um, I'm just training. I'm waiting for shards. Waiting for Phantom Singularity cooldown to come up. I dumped everything before we had to move again. Just refreshing dots. Staying alive. And then I'm just refreshing my Shadows Embrace whenever I can. So here I just refresh my dots again for my burst window. Set that up, hit Phantom Singularity. I got uh, Power Infusion here, so I was able to do a, a lot more damage. I was able to put out my Wolf Gashes like, a lot faster. Um, that was cool. <laughs> like... And then here I am, I'm just waiting for uh, my cooldowns to come up again. So I believe this is going to be another suck in Annihilation soon. Um, so I'm just kind of dumping shards and just maintaining my dots up because I know we're going to have to be moving soon. So as you see here, I dump all my shards because I know the sucking is coming. And then just trying to survive here. And then as soon as this ends, I try to get my Shadows Embrace up again. And my UA. And I just keep draining. Luckily, a ghost didn't spawn on me. That would have been really annoying. Uh, but I was able to reset here. 
back to mid after these seeds explode. The timers on this fight were really messed up when we did it. So I'm, there was an update for big wigs. So I'm not sure if they fixed it. Um, so that's why you kind of see me like kind of confused at some points because the timers are different from the actual abilities that are happening. So here, I know that I have 25 seconds left on my cooldowns. I'm holding my Phantom Singularity. I'm holding my Soul Rot um, and my second potion. I'm holding everything because I know like we need to burst the boss because um, it's going to be like a really tight overlap with seeds exploding and such. So I'm just kind of like chilling here, just barely just keeping up my dots and just waiting for my Dark Lord cooldown and waiting for this point. So here I get PI again. And this is where I do like a lot of my damage. So I second pot, I pop my soul rods, phantom singularity, dark lair, and I'm just nuking my boss as fast as possible. Um, keeping everything up and draining as much as possible since he's in like 20% execute phase. Um, every single time a shard comes up, I am hitting it, but using it towards malefic rapture. Making sure we stay alive here. And actually at the end, I don't even know what killed all of us here. Something like just killed us all. But um, luckily it still counted as a kill because the boss was doing his little RP death thing. Um, our tank survived and a couple others. But that was just uh, really strange that happened at the end. Um, so yeah, just some key takeaways. I just like keep my burst windows ready. Um, like... I know, I know when they're coming up, and so I save all of my shards for those burst windows. Um, I'm not, like, spamming Malefic Raptures randomly. Um, I'm only dumping them when I know we're going to be sucked into the center of the room, and I only use them when I know that I'm going to have my cooldowns coming up. Um, another big thing, um, trinket-wise, I did not like the cube. I probably will not run that anymore. Um, it was too RNG. Um, at the start, the haste is okay, but I really like the mastery buff. Um, and then throughout the fight, as I use it, it just kind of like heals someone or gives someone mana. Doesn't really ever give me the stat increase again. Um, so for trinkets, I would recommend using a Dreadfire Vessel, the Instructor's Bell that gives you mastery. Um, any unused trinket that just kind of gives you a buff, the Ruby that gives you crit. Um, any of those are really, really good. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be using cube anymore, I don't think, since I checked the logs and I got stats one out of like three uses or so. So um, that's just a tip for everyone that is confused about trinkets. But um, that's pretty much it. Hopefully uh, this helped people. And uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be putting out more videos on different kills. Um, let me know in the comments that, you know, if there's a specific boss that you're struggling with on doing damage and if you want some help on um, we're currently 5 out of 10 Mythic, so I can help with the first 5, um, and I can help with the last bosses on Heroic on how to do damage um, if people are struggling with that. So yeah, just let me know, and uh, thanks for watching.